number one seed because we're lucky. We're number one seed because we train and we have the best players in the country. Amen to that. Baylor men's basketball with a chance to make history mm. tonight, playing for the first national championship of the men's basketball era this evening. Good evening. Thank you so much for joining us. It's been a fun night so far. I'm Chris Radcliffe. And I'm Leslie Draffin. Yes, it is the big story of the night. Baylor Bears fighting to take home their first national title. Yeah, fans in Central Texas all the way up to Indianapolis are making some real noise this evening, and that's where we find Nikki Laterulo, far north of here, who stepped out of the game to let us know what is going on inside the stadium. Hey, Nikki, what can you tell us? Hey, Chris, right now I can tell you it's 73-56 Baylor and there is 10 minutes left in the game and that's not really a surprise. They've been up the entire time. They were up 19 points at one point and it's it's really all gas, no breaks for the Bears, but it may be quiet out here. You can see there's not many people. That's because inside Lucas Oil Stadium, this place is rocking so much green and gold in there and before the game I had a chance to talk to a lot of fans that made the trip up from Waco. Some of them drove, some of them flew, but I got to talk to one fan that graduated from Baylor in 19 49. His name is Sparky Beckham. He told me he remembers the 1948 National Championship game perfectly when they lost to Kentucky. He said he's watched Scott Drew build this program from the ground up and never lost hope they would be back here in the Natty. 73 years apart, but but uh, well, we had some exciting guys and I knew some of those guys personally. The team of today is, is exciting and they're faster and they're taller and uh, it's very exciting to be here. We've got a great coach and Scott Drew. And like I said, the Bears absolutely dominated Gonzaga in the first half. Right now, the score is 73-56. I can see it in the jumbotron in front of me. There's nine minutes and 29 seconds remaining. Drew Timmy, uh, Gonzaga's best player, he's in foul trouble with four fouls. Also, Flo Thamba and Jonathan Chamachachua for the Bears are also in foul trouble. So still a lot more time left in this game, and we can't underestimate Gonzaga. They could absolutely come back. We'll give you a full look at how this game ended up where it is in a bit in sports. But for now, reporting live at the Final Four, Nikki Lattarulo, Six Sports. Yeah, Nikki, stay right there. We've got a lot more to get to when we get back to you. And great interview there with Sparky. Yes. Way, to, way to talk to Sparky. That was terrific. Now, Baylor fans have packed McLean Stadium in Waco for the national championship game tonight. As the party continues, our Barry Roy is in the middle of all of it on the field. Good evening, Barry. It's got to be an incredible atmosphere down there right now, especially with the Bears leading late in this one. The defense of Baylor. Yeah, Chris, let me tell you, it is absolutely electric here. I got the Baylor fans behind me. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm telling you now, they are absolutely fired up right now. Their team is up 75-59. We're under 10 minutes left to go in this. Look, I talked to some Baylor fans as they headed into halftime, and they said this is their chance to just flex their muscles. No pundits even thought that they could win this game, and they said they're out to prove it. Well, Jim, before Timmy picked up that fourth. Look, everybody doubted us. All the commentators doubted us. I don't want to call it yet, but it's a great game so far. I'm not going to say it. Jared Easy Butler, JV on Mitchell, too good. Too good. They can't handle us. Okay. It's our time. Oh it's our time. It's our time. It's our time. We're not a number one seed because we're lucky. We're number one seed because we train and we have the best players in the country. Yeah, you know what? I bring it live back out here one more time. All the Baylor fans really excited out here. Again, there's about eight and a half minutes left to go in this one. And Chris and Leslie, they're all saying, so the Bears, I'll tell you what, if there's a roof on this place, they would blow it directly off. But uh, it is electric. We'll be here. We'll have a live feed for you the rest of the way until this game ends. Reporting live in Waco, Barry Roy. Barry, I believe you 100%. Say hi to RG3. We heard he's out there, and what an environment. Okay, stand by, Barry. We'll be back with you in a few minutes. Meanwhile, many of you have been posting about this game tonight, and you are very clever on the Internet. Here's what some of you had to say on Facebook. In fact, on my Facebook page, Jackie Mercer Stanton says this. Can you believe this? Yes, my daughter's boss actually passed away last week. If Baylor wins, he will win his bracket. Yes, he had faith in the Bears. Mary Bunny Dean Gallette, a big fan of our show. She watches every night, says, I may be a Longhorn fan, but sick em Bears. And Rick Cross says, Bears all the way. And Doug Walther says, I'm rooting 
for the Baptists tonight, when I said, who's it going to be, Baptists or the Catholics, he's going with the Baptists. Leslie? Well, the Lord's definitely cheering up there. All right, well, people were also very hype about the game on Twitter today. This one from James. It has been awesome watching Baylor shooting and scoring this first half of the game. With that cute little boy uh, with the respect hat. What else do we have? This one, a little funny. Looks like that OT with UCLA took a lot out of Gonzaga. Yeah, moving a bit slow. Oh, people are always funny on the internet. April 5th has proven to be a great day for Baylor Bears in Indianapolis. 16 years ago today, Baylor women won their first national championship. This one from Kim Mulkey. It's time to bring another trophy home from Indy. Yes, it is. And the governor of Texas also pulling for the Bears. The Texas legislature is united behind the Baylor Bears. Hashtag sick em. <laughs> Just heard Gonzaga picked up a new sponsor. Butterfinger. I do love that. <laughs> I got Ooh. it. That guy got a chuckle out of me earlier. All right.